So, uh, Gaff, a decent result against higher league opposition. Do you want to give us your thoughts on that? Yeah, um, pleased with the result, pleased with a clean sheet. Uh, not pleased with the first half performance, uh, I'll be honest with you. Um, terrible in possession, um, terrible game, I thought, first half. Both teams didn't keep the ball well enough, I thought. Um, it was a hot potato and uh, it's something that we need to work on a little bit. We've got it in the locker, I thought Saturday we kept it really well. Tonight we didn't um, and we were too erratic. So. But I thought as the game went on, considering they played two teams, uh, we looked the stronger, we looked more fitter, we were more, and then we got the win. I thought Wellesley deserved his goal and what a finish, you know, sat the centre half on his backside and, and stroked it home. So I thought, as a whole, second half, I thought we probably deserved the win. I was say, thinking about, uh, thinking about Wellesley in the last few games, is he's uh, popped a couple in back at net. We're hoping for that for the rest of the season. Yeah, we've asked him to play a different role um, to what he used to when he was here last. He played. He did all the Wellesley, uh, Hazels and uh, Margets running, didn't he? And he was probably shy of goals. But last time he played for me as a nine, he scored 30 in this league. So he's got everything in the locker as a nine. Big, strong, works the line tirelessly. Um, and his, his work rate over the last couple of games has you know, made, well, he's earned his goals. So well, that was a special finish, wasn't it? You know, he's, uh, he's ran 20 yards, sat the uh, defender on his backside and stroked it home. So yeah, well-deserved uh, goal from Wellesley. And then we've got uh, Askew, Obviously, uh, in our net, clean sheet again, kept us in it a couple of times tonight. What do you, what do you reckon? Yeah, I think, I think again, I, I looked at the, the game as a whole, and I don't think they, I think he's had two saves in the whole game. So, yeah, he's had two, two I don't, to do. yeah, I don't think he's had a lot to do in the game, they've not really tested him. A lot of got a lot of balls were high and direct, and yeah, another one who's come in and done really well. He just needs to, to touch up on certain aspects of his game. But we, we're a brand new group, we've, we've got 18, 19 new players, and you know, we've got. Brad Beeks and Kingy Keegan missing tonight. Woolley didn't play, so they're big players for us. So we're stepping in the right direction. It's, uh, it's a pleasing result against a team high up, uh, and uh, goes to show that we're competitive. Uh, but again, lots to work. So you said we've got a few players out onto uh, Barton on mm. on Saturday. Are we expecting anyone back or? Uh, hopefully Brad Beeson. Um, Woolley might be a little bit too early. Keegan. Kingy a bit too early, but yeah, hopefully they'll be okay for the Lincoln Warners game the week after. Uh, they just need some rest and um, recovery, and then get the minutes built up, ready for um, Cotton. Yeah. The seven. So yeah, we've got a few sessions in now, which is good. So uh, we can, we've got the game Saturday, and then we can train and work on what we've learned over the last three or four games. And uh, good habit. So three wins on the trot, only one conceded, and uh, really pleased with that. Yeah. So on to Saturday, and uh, yeah, on for the rest of the pre-season. Cheers, Gaffer. Cheers, boys. Thank, Thank you. you.